Good afternoon. Uh, welcome and thank you for joining us this afternoon. Uh, as educators, and in, uh, we are interacting and teaching uh, classroom and life lessons to future members of the Boston community. Uh, as part of this learning process uh, in the classroom, extracurricular, uh, in athletics, it's important that students have role models, models, and real people in the community who care about them and their future. People who positively demonstrate what it means to be part of community and value the community that they are a part of. Michael Bivens is one of these people I described for the city of Boston and for Boston Public Schools. Um, We're here today because of an idea and a vision that Mr. Bivens had for a community-focused event involving the message of peace, Boston Public School students, basketball, um, and the great folks from Puma. On Sunday, October 14th, we collaborated to organize and execute the Rep Your Schools Basketball Peace Jam at Madison Park. As a collective, we worked together to produce a community event that featured 12 schools, eight girls basketball teams, eight boys basketball teams, and their cheerleaders uh, for preseason exhibition basketball with the overarching message of community and peace in the city of Boston. Um, but before I turn the podium over to Michael, uh, I would personally like to thank uh, Michael Bivens, the Biv Fam Foundation, uh, and the great people at Puma for partnering with the city of Boston uh, for an event and for the opportunity for our students to be part of an event that with an influence and positive message for their communities. Um, Finally, I'd also like to thank Mayor Walsh, um, Interim yeah. Superintendent Perel, yeah. for their continued support uh, and efforts, uh, both, in Boston, both in Boston Public Schools and with BPS Athletics. So um, without further ado, I turn it over to Michael Bivens. I, I didn't know I was going second, so. I guess I'll go second. How's everybody doing? This day is special for so many different reasons. First of all, I'd just like to say, what we're doing today is just to bring a focus to the schools and to the students to let you guys know we care, okay? It's so much I would like to do, my family. Babe, come please join me. We would like to do, this is my wife, ladies and gentlemen, Tisha. There's so much that we would like to do to help them further their education, to help them in athletics. But sometimes you need a little help. Marty, the school department, they do their job. They open the doors, they feed the kids, they give them opportunity. But sometimes you need outside help to show them that you care. And that's where the good folks of Puma came from. And what's What's so crazy about this is when I hit Marty and said, yo, Marty, I got to make another move. You know, I'm always hitting him, telling him I got to make a move. He was right there. He gave me Rob's number, and Rob and I talked. And we had an event that we only had a week and a half to put together. And it was around a basketball sneaker that Puma was launching. But we were right there in the beginning of football season. So we, we felt like, how do we put on a basketball event right during football season, and that's where the school department allowed us to navigate through that so that the football kids and the, the students knew that this was something special and this was only going on in Boston. Because Puma launched this sneaker and none of the events are inside of a school system. They're in different parts of the country in different rooms. But we brought that inside of Madison and we went outside of the Boston public to invite some other students who go outside of the city to know how we get down in the city. And I want you to know in a week and a half, we had an incredible team and we had an incredible event. And it just means so much because this room today is what we wanted. We wanted you guys to see the fabric of the city, how we're being led by our good friend, my good friend, the mayor of the city and his team that works under him. And what my family, my wife and I and our kids would like to do in my hometown as a kid from Orchard Park Projects, 
who never forgot where he came from, who always wears Boston on the chest and wants to do so much. And I just want to say thank you all for coming. It's not over. We're just getting this party started. But I would like to pass the mic. I would like to pass the mic to the Puma people because I think they're the ones that started the foundation. We just showed them how to rock through the city. So please put your hands together for Puma. Hello, everyone. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you very much for having us today. Um, I'm proud to be here to represent uh, the hundreds of Puma employees that work here in Boston and live in the greater Boston area. Um, after a 20-year absence in basketball, this year Puma decided to get back into the game. Uh, and when we did that, we made sure that we committed to the fact that we would connect to the community. So around our launch of basketball, we were presented with the opportunity to partner with Mike and his amazing uh, basketball jamboree to bring kids from Boston Public Schools together for the Peace Jam. It was a really exciting opportunity for us, and uh, as a result of that, uh, we were really able to connect to the community and do what we said we were going to do. So um, as a result of that, we also said that we wanted to, to support Boston uh, athletics in Boston Public Schools. So. As part of that activation, what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a donation today to the Biv Fam Foundation. Wow. Michael, in the order of uh, $10,000, we'd like to make this donation. So thank you very much. OK. <laughs> um, this is our first check receiving to our foundation. We would just like to say, on behalf of the family and our kids and our team members, my mother, Shirley Bivens, my mother-in-law, Paris Looney, and the Mike James, thank you. It means everything. And I guess on behalf of Puma and the Bid Fam Foundation, we would like to make a $15,000 donation to the Boston Public School System on your behalf, Mr. Marty, and your team. So we would like to say our thank you to you and a $15,000 check donation to the Boston School Department. I'll speak before I get the picture. Let me, um, let me just thank um, Avery, thank you uh, for your leadership. Ryan, thank you uh, for the new sneaks, appreciate it. Um, <laughs> to Superintendent Laura Perel. Uh, it's exciting to the school leaders that are here today. Uh, welcome and thank you for being here with us today. Um, and, and, and to Michael and, and Tisha, thank you. Uh, thank you for what you do for our city. Um, we had the U.S. Conference of Mayors here uh, in Boston in June, and we had an event at the JFK Library. And it was a good event, and you know, everyone loved being over there, Kennedy Library and Mayor Small of the Country. And then Michael Bivens walked in. And that was the biggest request that I got. Can I get a picture of Michael Bivens? Can I get a picture of Michael Bivens? <laughs> And uh, he was a hero that night. I want to thank you for everything you do for our city. Michael truly does give back. Um, you know, we met 2013. Uh, Linda Dosina Fori introduced us. Yeah. Uh, I knew him obviously from from, uh, from New Edition and from Bell Bib DeVoe and from his music and who he was. And uh, and what he said to me in 2013, he said, "When you get elected mayor, I want to I want to really be part of the city of Boston." And uh, there's no asks. Uh, it, it's how, what can I do for the kids? The only ask Michael has is how can I get more involved? How can I do more? How can I do this? How can I do that? How do I do that? That's generally what the text is. So I want to thank you, Michael. I also want to give a shout out to Robbie Consavo, uh, yes. who uh, helped put all this stuff together. I don't know if you know, we, we ran against each other for mayor, and Robbie put a commercial on, and he was shooting threes, and he hit like he, like, he hit like, he hit like four in a row, and I, or five in a row, what was it, how many in a row? Six in a row. Six in a row. <laughs> and, and we're in a debate, and I was saying, that was all spliced together, and, and Robbie, no, he actually hit six in a row. He did six in a row, so uh, thank you, Councilor, uh, for that. And I also want to recognize City Councilor Nisha Sabi George, who's with us today, yes. uh, who's also here, uh, for Dorchester, Dorchester uh, girl from, from Dorchester, and, and so we, we pretty, truly appreciate it. And I want to shout out uh, four Boston Public School students that are here today, uh, athletes, uh, that were recognized by, the, by their coaches as Player of the Year. And I just want to just want to give a wave. Grace Burns, is Grace here? Where's Grace? Grace. Marcus Gonzalez, Marcus here, Marcus. 
Jerry Ellis Tor uh, Torres across, across, did I get it right? I kill your name. You go to English? I had a feeling you were thinking, you're in the English row right there. And Jesus Baptiste. Yeah. I want to thank these young people for, uh, for what they do. Um, we often say when, when, when something's written in the press or covered on news, they don't cover the good stories. And there's so many great stories in our school system. All these young people are, are great stories. I want to thank you for representing the city of Boston really, really well. And thank you for congratulations being recognized. Uh, being recognized by coaches is really important because coaches understand that. So I want to thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank Puma and the, yes. Biv, and the Biv Family Foundation uh, for supporting, supporting Boston Public Schools athletics. Um, this is something that you know, we probably have to do more of. We have to work to build up our athletic programs. So many young people in our city get an opportunity to, uh, sometimes school connects them to school and keeps them in school. Uh, and we have to do more. And, and I think since, since I've been here, we've been trying to have better fields, better playing facilities. Uh, we've had several state championships in, in our city uh, in basketball. And we've had football representation, hockey representation, and, and girls so uh, uh, soccer and softball representation. And, uh, we have to remember that. You, you guys are the pride of our city, so I want to thank you all. Uh, it's important for us to make sure that as we continue to build up our sports programs, keep kids healthy and, and, and active and engaged, uh, and that's, that's what we want to do here. And, and this, this donation today will, will help go a long way to that. And I just want to, and, and not only that, um, just the, the awareness and having Michael Bivens and his wife here uh, and, being, and using Puma uh, as an opportunity to put a real big positive spotlight, spotlight on the city of Boston, and particularly BPS Athletics, is, is a tremendous uh, help to all of us. So I want to thank you all for being here. I want to ask. I want to ask Laura, Laura Perel to come on up if she wants to say a couple words, and then we're going to do photos and stuff like that. I will make this quick. Thank you, Mayor. And I just want to add my thanks um, to Michael, to the Biv Fam Foundation, and Puma um, for um, bringing this opportunity together on behalf of our students. The work of the Boston Public Schools is about um, instructing well each and every child that comes into our school buildings. But school and education from kindergarten through high school needs to be about so much more than that. And engaging our students is critical. What I love about this event is that it brings an artist, a musician, an entrepreneur um, into connection with athletics. Um, I don't care how kids get engaged. I don't care if it's robotics, chess, art, athletics. But it is, as the mayor said, an important part of the experiences and the opportunity gaps that we can close for all of our kids. So thank you for being part of it. Thank you to my team that does this all the time. So to Avery and to Rob, um, a school leader here with us today. But um, especially thank you for never forgetting Boston and never forgetting Boston's youth. And a shout out to the student athletes. And let me turn things back over to Michael. Well, you ready, babe? Yes. Come on. Before we start, we just like to say to Bill Moran, you are a hell of a guy. Yeah. I want y'all to acknowledge Bill Moran. And to my big brother who was heavy in the community, Terry Walker, thank you. And to Charlie Deloach and to Rob Lewis who's here and Travis who's holding my phone. And um, she's not really much of a speaker. She just tells and runs the house the way it's supposed to be ran. So she has a few little words to say, and then we're going to do something special from the family and our crew of people from the community. Thank you, honey. <laughs> um, well, we have a little surprise. Um, we wanted to match the donation that uh, to Boston Public Schools for 15K. So on behalf of the Bivian Foundation, we wanted to match it and give another 15,000 to Boston Public Schools. 